Hi, welcome to Smart Home Sunday. My name's Paul and I'm tinkering with the energy dashboard in Home Assistant, or at least that's what I'm trying to do. I did want to give you an update uh, last week and the week before I was talking about these high home plugs and I actually bought six of these. I forgot, I thought I only bought five, but I bought six of them. So I've still got one more to flash, but uh, so far four flash to Tasmota. No problem at all. The key bit of advice I would give you if you're thinking about flashing these plugs is if at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. Because a few of the plugs, even after the third or fourth attempt, then it worked. So I'm f I was flashing over the air. So there was a video I put in last week's, uh, a link to a video I put in last week's video. Does that make sense? So that'll definitely help you flash these. But look, one of them, is a replacement plug and it's a new version with new firmware and it won't flash over the air. So I'm gonna have to think about buying one of those little dongle USB to serial adapters and physically trying to flash or otherwise I'm just gonna throw it away. I'm keen to get some new plugs that I can just talk to directly. Yes, the Shelleys, I know, I know. When, when the money starts flowing, meaning payday comes, then I'll buy some Shelleys. Uh, I am getting quite technical now, or at least for me it's getting quite technical in Home Assistant, because now that I have these smart plugs around the house, I'll give you a look at some of the ones that have been running for the last week and how much power they've been using, like the washing machine, the oven, the equipment cupboard, uh, and a little blue sound speaker. I'll show you that in a moment. But what I do need to do in Home Assistant is not only connect those Tasmota plugs into Home Assistant, but I want to add a little calculation in there because in our house, we are using the Nord Pool electricity price. So we're paying the spot price and that spot price is every hour, the price is different depending on demand, the weather, time of day, those kind of things. And this, for example, is what it looks like over today. You can see here in the morning, this morning, down to about 3.4 cents, 2.8 cents, uh, even at 10 o'clock this morning, 1.5 cents, that was the low point, 1.7, plenty of washing done then. Uh, and then afternoon, evening, up to about 14.87. So you can see there's a lot of variation in the price each day. And so far, since we've been on this, this is exactly what it looks like. It's very much up and down every single day. So if I can take advantage of those low points, then I will. And I'm gonna try and think a little bit more about how I can do that. But when it comes to monitoring the cost of electricity, it makes things a little more complicated. So with a smart plug reporting the usage of that appliance in Home Assistant, I need to do a calculation to say, okay, this is how much power was used in the last hour. This is the price that you paid and then storing that. So I have a little bit of a history view. And what I would like is so that you could just glance at the dashboard and see in euros or euro cents, how much that appliance has cost for the day, right? So you finish cooking dinner, roasting some vegetables in the oven and you see, oh, that costs 30 cents. Hmm? Or you do the washing, same thing. Oh, that costs 25 cents. Maybe we don't need to panic. Maybe we can do the washing. I mean, definitely the heaters during winter are the power hungry and money hungry machines in our house but it is good to get a perspective. And let me now show you actually what it looks like. So I've had four of these plugs and I've just got them up here in the browser. This is the Tasmota firmware and four of these around the house. And one I talked about was the equipment rack and you can see there in the last week of the energy total. This was uh, from last Sunday, I put it in place and it's used 2.1 kilowatt hours. Now, even at a 25 cent price if it was 25 cents per kilowatt hour or you can do the maths it's only cost 50 cents to run for the week now of course if that was two cents per kilowatt hour well that's only four cents so there is still quite a price variation but you know trying to save 50 cents in the week over the long term yes maybe you could save 20 to 30 euros if you found some way to run the equipment room 
on some kind of power supply and it would charge during the cheap time and uh, I don't know I'm still going to experiment with something like that but there's a not a lot of money to be saved there if you follow where I'm at however something like the washing machine um, well today yesterday 1.7 1.3 so if you're using the washing machine every day and you're using kind of 50 cents a day then that's definitely going to add up in the year uh, the oven yep did some cooking today in the oven pizza Sunday and 1.8 kilowatt hours so what did that cost us oh now I don't know the exact price because I'd need to compare it to the actual hour when we were cooking but yeah, the most expensive it was was about uh, 14 cents today so 30 cents to cook the pizzas yes so if you've got some ideas or tips for me on how to do that calculation in Home Assistant, well then let me know because that's what I'm tinkering and trying to figure out and I'll continue to try and figure it out during the week at least if I can give you a tutorial video next Sunday when I come back with more Smart Home Sunday and I'm going to definitely work on getting the Tasmotor plugs into Home Assistant. So that's definitely coming next week and then I'll start to try and figure out how I can do those calculations using the Nord Pool electricity price and the hourly consumption of appliances in the house. So I thought I'd give you a little update, give you a little bit of a look at what these devices have been using. Uh, the Blue Sound speaker, it's been running for a week and it's 0.378 kilowatt hours for the entire week. And we've had that on playing, so it's an extremely energy efficient little device. Costs next to nothing to run for the entire year, it seems. So that's good news. The music can keep on playing. That's it, Smart Home Sunday. I'll see you next week. I'll be here again tomorrow. Man, I've got a mess in the renovation. If you're into that kind of thing, I'll see you then. Otherwise, I'll see you Tuesday. More tech stuff then and then next Sunday. Bye.